Welcome, tankers! Now that the early access phase of development has started for Armored Warfare, I can finally show you guys uh, videos of all the tanks you're going to get to play eventually. Well, at least early access has started for the Europeans. They've had two full days so far, and the North Americans haven't even got to play once because the servers crashed on the first day and they had to cancel it. So hopefully tonight the North Americans will finally get a chance to play some of these tanks, and here I'm going to show you the Weasel 1. It is an extremely fast little tank with a, a pea shooter of a machine gun, and it is probably one of the more fun tanks to drive, although it is extremely underpowered, just like all the uh, kind of scout or reconnaissance type tanks in the game. It one on one against a main battle tank, and it will get annihilated. So, if you see that little orange logo up near the top center of the screen, that means I've been spotted. So I'm going to rush to cover here. And I like to take positions forward of my team so that I can try and spot some tanks. And there we get rid of a TD already. And I'm not getting shot down this road, so that means there's probably not too many enemy teammates down that way. Oh, there's one. But he's behind a hill, so we'll have to uh, think about pushing forward here, maybe, and spotting some of the guys up on this ridge to our right. Identify. And proximity spotting works in Armored Warfare, just like it does in World of Tanks. So I just have to get close to him, I don't actually have to see him to light him. And then hopefully my teammates will be able to kill him, but it looks like only one guy... <laughs> covered the entire center of the map, so it might take me a while to get rid of this guy. And now it looks like I might be in a bit more danger from straight ahead there, so I'm going to be a bit more cautious, and we got to go light him again. And hopefully he'll be dealt with pretty soon. And I'm still not taking any fire from forward and to my left, so... I know there's no one hiding behind the buildings here. And finally my team takes out the guy who was spotting me, so now I can think about pushing forward and spotting anyone closer to their cap. So we get a little bit of damage and I don't want to push too far forward. And if I were to go over this hill, I would be exposed to probably a lot more fire. There are usually people behind me and to the right now on that kind of ridge. So I know he has a bit of a reload, so I'm going to pull forward and get a few more shots into him before he has a chance to reload. And now exactly what I didn't want to see, a main battle tank coming at me from the ridge, and something else I don't want to see, <laughs> a TD coming at me over the hill. So. If you've noticed, auto-aim, uh, there's some serious bugs with auto-aim. Uh, it locks on and then just randomly turns off. So you'll pretty much want to uh, fire manually. And on the alpha test server here, I was getting about a 200 ping, so I'm probably uh, shooting way behind a lot of the tanks, and they aren't quite where I think they are. But hopefully we'll be able to kill that guy. And now I'm in deep trouble because main battle tanks are dominant in this game and AFBs or reconnaissance vehicles are, are just going to have an impossible time trying to kill them because it'll take minutes of straight firing <laughs> into them to, to kill them, whereas it only takes them one or two shots to kill you. So now we'll take a look at this map from the other side. And if you're used to World of Tanks, uh, a lot of the obstacles aren't quite as passable as they are in World of Tanks. And trees, for instance, bleed off almost all of your speed, so you want to avoid hitting almost everything. Maybe uh, chain link fences don't bleed off too much of your speed, but pretty much everything else does, so be very cautious about that. So again, I'm going to try and take a forward position and light all these tanks for my crew and try and get to safety from all these 50-round uh, autoloaders that are shooting at me. 
multiple rounds a second. So this depression here is pretty good because you're pretty much safe from mo most sides unless tanks come right up onto the hills or come up over the hills towards you and in which case they're going to be exposed to fire from our team. So you can often sit in this little depression for quite a while and light tanks up back towards our cap like I'm looking here or over to my right towards their cap. Although be cautious, right where I was looking there, there are often tanks there and they sometimes have shots into this depression. So again, you don't want to back up the hill and, and expose yourself to anyone. So I'm just going to try and stay hull down here, spot people, and maybe get some shots off. And hopefully our teammates will be able to kill those guys. And then I can worry more about the enemy cap. And if you notice that orange logo with what looks like a missile above it, that is your... a missile warning. That means that someone with guided missiles has a missile loaded and is looking at you, and has his reticle on you. So if you see that symbol, you want to hide quickly. And against guided missiles, actually, in this depression, they could actually guide a missile over the hill and then drop it down onto you, even though they don't have line of sight to you. Although that's an extremely hard shot to make, seeing as the game is two-dimensional and you'd really need to see it three-dimensional to know exactly where the missile is and when to drop it down. And an interesting trick for guided missiles, if, uh, as I said, you get a warning when someone has one loaded and is aiming the reticle at you, so you can fire a missile without it being aimed, like way off to the side, and then not even turn your reticle to the tank you're aiming at until maybe three, four, five seconds after you fire, and you can, then you can draw the missile over to your target, and then they won't get a warning until the missiles almost reached them. And of course you can, with missiles, you can uh, shoot them around buildings <laughs> and all sorts of interesting tricks with them, although missiles are kind of underpowered. If you watch my other videos I mention why, so I won't go into it a second time. And speaking of which, if you want to see all the new tanks that you're going to get a chance to play eventually, just click subscribe and YouTube will send them to you as soon as I get them done. I'll, I expect to have multiple videos done every day for the next week or two, showing you all the different tanks. And now, again, I'm going to push forward in front of my teammates and try and light these guys. You gotta be very careful. In World of Tanks, with the fast scout type tanks, you can circle uh, any heavy tank you can usually kill <laughs> by circling. And a lot of tanks you, you can kill one on one, but in Armored Warfare it is much harder for the faster tanks to kill anyone one on one. Because they all have really fast hull and turret traverses, and your gun is typically terrible compared to theirs. So you got to be very cautious and go one-on-one -on -one a lot less than you would in World of Tanks. Although hopefully they'll, they really need to buff a lot of the AFVs and reconnaissance vehicles and severely nerf main battle tanks. So that might change. And of course, don't take anything for granted as the stats for almost everything will change as the game moves into release as they balance the tanks. Oh, and right a few seconds ago, if you noticed a big orange logo that we haven't seen before, that is the Artie warning, and it means that Artie is looking at you and firing. So if you see that one, you'll want to get to cover extremely fast. And now there's only a few tanks left, so we're in mop-up mode, so I'm just gonna, again, try and push forward in front of my teammates and try and light these guys. Maybe get some shots and some damage. Now he's... I'm going to be out of his view range, so I can just sit here and fire invisibly. And hopefully we'll have some help here soon, and 
my teammates will be able to take him out. And of course he goes invisible, but there are a couple of us taking blind shots at him, and hopefully some of those will hit. And apparently they do, because he dies. And we can see there are arty shells coming in from right in front of us, so we know exactly where they were. And now we'll show you one final game. Uh, I'm going to fast forward to this point as nothing much happened. Usually um, there's a lot of tanks on the west of the map, but in this game there wasn't, so no point in showing you uh, pretty much nothing until now. So we are going to go arty hunting here. And it's be very careful when you're arty hunting in a reconnaissance or lighter tank, because they all seem to have autoloaders their turrets are all fast, and uh, they have massive splash radiuses. So it was quite common to see scouts getting, or going arty hunting, getting annihilated by the arty without really doing any damage to them. <laughs> and the arty often have a lot of hit points too, and it might take you a hundred or more hits to kill one, whereas it'll only take him one good hit to kill you, or a couple of splashes. And of course they have autoloaders, so they can lob three shells your way in about five or ten seconds. And now there are just a few tanks left, and we're going to go in and try and get some, some final damage before the game is over. And this was The Weasel 1. Thanks for watching.